So this is uh, pre-calculus topic seven. We're talking about different function types. We'll talk about the power function this time. And the power function is uh, y equals a times x to some power. It's just a polynomial, but we only are really concerned about the first term. So one thing I know about these is they go through zero, zero. Um, sometimes they look like that. Sometimes they look like that, depending on your, your power. But um, that's a good clue if it's a curve and it's going through zero, zero. We could try and model it with a power function. So let me get one up here that we'll try and do. Um, and we usually, we're just graphing it in the first quadrant. So, some stuff could go on over here as well, but we're just looking at the first quadrant right now. And it goes through the point 1, 2, and it's going to go through the point 4, 1, 28. So what we can do to, to try and write an equation for this curve, that's really not a very good curve, is it? It's a little better. Um, I'm going to plug these into here and try and solve for A and B. So when y is 128, x is 4. And uh, when y is 2, x is 1. And so now notice what I can do is I can do a little bit of, uh, of division. Uh, 128 divided by 2 is equal to a times 4 to the b over a times 1 to the b. Uh, 128 divided by 2, that's 64. a divided by a divides out. 4 to the b divided by 1 to the b. Um, now, 1 to the b is just 1, but I do want to emphasize, if I had like 4 to the b divided by 1 to the b, that's the same as 4 divided by 1 to the b. So if your exponent's the same, you can divide uh, those bases. So this would be 4 to the b. So 4 to what power gives you 64? So what you could do is grab your calculator, hunt and peck a little bit till you see that, that b is equal to 3. But if you don't see that, rewrite this as a logarithm. So log base 4 of 64 is b. And then from here, you can use that change of base formula, uh, natural log of 64 divided by natural log of 4. And let me do that here. So uh, natural log of 64 close off the parentheses, divided by natural log of 4, and the answer is 3. So b is 3. So if b is 3, I can plug it back into any of the equations and figure out what a must be. So how about I plug it into this one? That looks easy. 2 equals a times 1 to the third power. 1 to the third power is 1, so a is 2. So my equation for this, then, must be y equals a is 2 x to the b power, b is 3. So that would fit that curve right there. 